Can you imagine bacteria making fuels for airplanes and rockets? I'm dead serious, talking about making jet and rocket fuels by microbes from food waste. Streptomyces <laughs> bacteria. They are quite talented and creative species, and in fact, we have been using them for making several strange chemicals such as antibiotics and anti cancer drugs. Now, they are going to help us fly. Some strains of these bacteria make an extraordinary antifungal substance with a unique molecular structure that contains a number of triangular carbonates. This natural molecule is called jasomycin because it has five triangular carbonates on its backbone that look like a jaw filled with pointy and sharp teeth. Each of these triangular carbon structures with 60 degree power is known as a cyclopropane. It can also be found in some of the synthetic rocket fuels like Centene, developed in 1960s by the Soviet Union Space Agency. Okay, back to Jasomycin. Although it has five of those triangular carbon rings, it was not selected directly as a jet fuel candidate. Why? Partly because of some unwanted molecular structures attached to its ring chain. So, how did we actually employ just racing to make a bacterial made high energy fuel? Well, we did not directly use it, but rather we got inspired by its complex by synthetic pathway within one bacterial cell. The enzymatic biosynthetic pathway of jasomycin in bacteria is called the iterative polyketide synthase. This pathway was genomically investigated and the corresponding genes were introduced to a pain streptomyces host. was to create similar toothy molecules with multiple triangular carbon rings without the unwanted molecular extensions. So, we literally programmed the bacterial species to create the molecule that we need. Smart, huh? These new bacterial-made molecules were called fuelimycins. Maybe you wonder if we have actually listed any rockets or airplanes using these bacterial meat fuels. The answer is no. So far, these exciting bacterial meat fuels have been only made in very small amounts in the lab, which were not enough to test in a real rocket engine that requires around 10 kilograms of fuel for a test. However, evaluation of their energy density shows that they can provide more than 15 megajoules of combustion heat per liter. This is much higher than the energy densities of regular gasoline that is about 32 megajoules per liter and Jet A, the most common jet fuel, and RT1, a popular rocket fuel that are around 35. It's so incredible that in the near future we can fly with the bacterial made fuel. They are not only energy efficient, but also more environmentally friendly than the petroleum-based fuel. In fact, 
The bacteria are fed by plant-based matter that is made by absorbing the atmospheric carbon dioxide during photosynthesis. So these fuels are literally made from atmospheric carbon dioxide, which means that burning them in the engine can significantly reduce the amount of added greenhouse gases to the atmosphere. Okay, I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and have learned about this new possible way of producing high energy density biofuel. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.